All right, so today I will run to another quick demo uh, in terms of self-trust measure, data classification, and uh, remediation. Data classification is a feature that we have uh, released last year, since last year, about uh, uh, discover and classify the data based on the different profile. And uh, intelligent remediation is a feature we have also added on this year to uh, uh, enhance the uh, capability to let customer not just about classify the data, understand what they have, but also assign the protection policy accordingly. So my scenario will go to a simple uh, demo scenario about, uh, uh, about that. All right, so my setup is basically a separate trust manager 2.5.1 with TDP 1.5.1 managed by a security admin Then I have single uh, Red Hat client. Uh, Red Hat 7.7 .7 with uh, uh, protection or the data processing folder with data one. And then I have a few users. A user one will be able to, uh, it's the user who will be uploading the data uh, itself. And the VIP will be the user who have uh, access to the classified uh, data based on the classification profile. And your group user, again, is a super admin, but he shouldn't have access to the classified data. Right, so my demo scenario is basically user one will upload those uh, information and security admin will run through the you know, data, data classification scan and then the data file will be protected again uh, according to data classification and then I'll validate the user access by different users and also review the audit record in terms of what is happening on those uh, uh, access. Right, right, let's uh, jump into it. Uh, firstly, I think I log in as the user one here. Um, yeah, so I already have some files in the folder, but now I will just uh, copy those uh, few new files into uh, into this uh, particular processing folder. All right, so I have a few files copied over there. Then as a user one, I can just uh, quickly see in this uh, data one folder, I have some Right, so you can see this, uh, this is actually a file with some credit card information here. And uh, of course I have some other uh, text files, which is, uh, doesn't have credit card information uh, used for my other scanning purpose itself, but uh, it will not be classified in the PCI profile. So with that, we can jump back into our self trust manager to perform the data classification and scan. Uh, again, this is a sing single, uh, console to give you the capability about classification, protection, about database uh, protection, about uh, also server trust uh, cloud key measure. Today I will jump into uh, classification. All right, so I have already a scan defined. I will start running it now. And uh, while it's running, I will explain what is this particular scan, uh, uh, what does this particular scan do? All right, so firstly, basically the scan is running against a, a data store or a target. Uh, later, uh, so in this case, uh, actually I have been assigned uh, a, a Red Hat Linux uh, host itself, a local storage as a target. But actually we can also scan uh, cloud targets as uh, S3 um, uh, on AWS as well, right? So databases and so on and so forth. And in the target itself, basically you can see I have just assigned the data one as a scan destination. And uh, here is basically the magic where we enable the uh, protection policy, which is a uh, Enable remediation is turned on here. All right, so again, if you go to that particular host about the uh, uh, the, the, the target, basically it's uh, just a Linux uh, host itself, it has an agent installed. I can test the connection uh, or do some other checking, uh, basically in terms of the uh, storage type here is a uh, local storage. All right, so you can see the process now going to the classification process, just now the processing uh, if they're preparing the profile. Uh, oh, I think the other thing I didn't uh, touch on is basically this classification profile, right? So you can see this, uh, the profile I use here is basically about PCI DSS, the payment, uh, what they call we have, uh, the, the, the PCI DSS profile, which can scan for all the different type of uh, credit card. And that's uh, what I use here. So while the scans uh, continue doing the classification, I can jump into the uh, protection profile to explain how does it, uh, uh, what is the policy applied over there, right? So you can see basically I have this host protected with CTE or the protection agent. 
I have assigned a policy to this particular guard point. And then the protection policy basically has a number of rules set uh, uh, setting up here. Right, so you can see basically I have the key operation rules uh, itself, uh, which allow the uh, encryption process to automatically encrypt the data based on live data transformation uh, uh, capability. I have also assigned a rule to just allow the file attribute read uh, or the metadata read, which is uh, just for my audit uh, purpose. I do not want to see too much audio record or uh, overwhelming. And then the next basically allow the VIP user to access the classified data, the resource site, which is a PCI classified data. And then, uh, of course, for the classification process itself, it will need to access both classified and classified data. And excluding a VIP for other, all other users, they will be denied from accessing uh, those files. And for unclassified data, basically, I will allow everyone to read and I will allow the data operator, which is user one, to do to perform update. All right, so that's basically the protection policy. Again, so now if you we, we come back, we can see the data classification uh, is uh, completed, and then we can run a report, uh, generate a report. Uh, I have already defined a report, so uh, based on this particular scan, so I just need to regenerate that report. Right. So with that uh, running, basically we can uh, again going back to. Uh, as a user run to see uh, whether the, uh, what about the protection policies has uh, uh, been applied. So again, if I try to see the IC number files, everything access is fine. But let's see whether the protection policy has. Yeah, so, so you can see basically if I try to access the credit card information table, which I just, just uploaded just now, uh, I have been denied from access as a user run. Uh, uh, or this files has been classified, right? So then uh, as a VIP user who is uh, the authorized auditors or internal data processors uh, who can access the files, he will be able to see this particular files. Right, so as a VIP user, based on his profile, he can actually manipulate uh, or can see and also man manipulate this uh, particular uh, data file. And uh, as a root user, uh, by right, the root user has access to everything. But again, if you're the root user here trying to uh, you know, access this uh, particular protected file, you can see the permission is denied. Right? So, and this report coming back, so we can just take a quick look on that. Oh, somebody coming to my, my door. Okay. So, yeah, so you can see basically this is a classification profile, uh, the uh, classification result. Uh, there's uh, six data objects in that uh, folder, but you can see that basically there's uh, two additional files being classified, right? So, uh, in this uh, B25, which is I have 25 uh, credit card uh, data, and then the B500, right? So you can see they have find many of those. Uh, <laughs> uh, credit card information, that is exactly what I put it in, right? So uh, then they will assign uh, what you call, at the, at the time the scanning basically is uh, still unencrypted, but just now when you see the access is already uh, being encrypted, right? So basically this is, a, once we find the classification, we will assign the protection. And yeah, and lastly, basically, if you go back, uh, if we go back just now to the uh, uh, to the audit uh, record itself, we can see what is happening at behind, right? So you can see uh, the last record I'm trying to access it from the root user. Uh, the root user itself uh, basically is, uh, has been denied, rejected by right, the access because uh, he, he doesn't belong to the VIP group because of the classification profile. That's right, he met in the root six. Uh, remember this? and. Uh, and uh, the, the second one is basically about the uh, uh, VIP user, right? The VIP user is the authorized user. So you can see that he has been able to use the intrusion key and be granted access based on root tree, right? And then uh, this one is about the uh, user one, right? So the user one just now I try also trying to access this file itself. 
as you can see, he has also been denied because of rule number six being matched. All right, so just to come back to my self-trust manager rules uh, to ex explain that policy, go back to the protection policy itself. All right, so this is exactly what happened. All right, so for rule number three, is matching because the user VIP is matching on the user set of the uh, VIP users itself. It's allowed to uh, read those uh, sensitive files for, with PCI profile. And rule number six, which is uh, root user and other user being matched, is because they are not VIP profile, but they're trying to access the VIP or uh, those you know, classified information, they are being denied. And of course, if you are trying to access the, uh, what do you call, those uh, files are outside of the uh, classification profile, you are continue granted uh, access, right? So operations can come, data operations can continue based on uh, uh, as as, uh, uh, outside of the classification for both root users uh, and uh, uh, what do you call the data operators. Yeah, I think, yeah, so I think that's probably just a quick wrap up of my uh, demo on this. Thank you guys.